Hello and welcome to Cupcake Addiction's Monster High Cake Pop tutorial where I'll be showing you how to make this great and easy Monster High Cake Pop. So, so, so many requests for something Monster High, so this is what I bring you. Tools and equipment that we will be using today. I've got my pre-rolled ready to go cake pop bowl. If you don't have a great recipe for your cake pop balls to get them to this stage ready to decorate, you can click on a little monster high cake pop at any point during this tutorial and that will take you straight over to our recipe and video. I've got some melted white chocolate. I've got a little bit of pink, I'm using modeling chocolate, but you can also use fondant just to make that bow. I've got a piping tip. I've got a loyal number 13 piping tip. Now this one it really just says it's 13 millimeters across the top So anything that you've got that's gonna be about that size circle It doesn't have to be a piping tip or a circle cutter Have a think about what you've got if you've got the lid of a pen or something like that that you can use just to cut out the shapes for the eyes I've got a lollipop stick a fondant roller any rolling pin will do I've got a knife, just a butter knife, and I've got some soft eating licorice. If you're going to use licorice, make sure it is the soft eating kind, so the kind that does kind of squish out a shape when you squash it because we're going to roll that out. Otherwise, you can use black fondant. Let's get started. First thing we're going to make the shape of our monster high head. So I've got my pre-rolled cake pop ball. That's pretty well what you'll start with. So I've rolled them all into even sized balls to get the same sized heads. Now I'm just going to just squash that ball down a little bit, not too much. And I'm going to use my fingers to give us some really pronounced cheeks, nice pronounced cheeks. And then at the bottom here, I'm actually going to really just kind of dig away. So take the whole lot off at the bottom there and then just neaten it up. So she's got really, really pronounced cheeks. So don't round them up too much. You want them to be nice and sharp. And same with the chin. You want that to, to really be nice and pointed. You don't want to lose that chin or you're going to lose your monster high shape. Turn it over and just make sure that your back is taking a similar shape, but don't worry too much. It is the back of the cake pot. A little flatten down the front, just until you're happy. But that's about the shape that I've gone with. And you'll see that that's going to make her nice little head. Now pop that one into the fridge. You want to pop it into the fridge for at least 10 minutes so that it's really nice and firm before we pop the lollipop stick in. Okay, while those cake pop balls are setting in the fridge, we're going to take that soft eating licorice and the little rolling pin. You need quite a bit of pressure behind it to really roll it out. And I like to turn mine over. So you can see there, roll it, turn it. It just helps to to roll it out nice and thin. Some people won't like the taste of licorice if you don't like it. As I mentioned, use black fondant. All right, so I've rolled my soft eating licorice out. You can see there it is quite thin. And I'm going to take that Loyal number 13 piping tip and I'm just gonna cut out two circles. So one and two. Now with those two circles, to make the shapes of the eyes, they're not quite squares, they're not quite circles. So I'm just going to cut off just a very tiny edge top, tiny edge bottom. And I'm actually cutting in on a little bit of an angle so that you get one edge that's smaller and one edge that's bigger. And I've got these couple little offcuts. keep those. They're going to be our eyelashes. So we'll just pop those off to the side. And I'm just going to take a little nick out of the center there and just round off the edges. That's one eye. Once again, cutting slightly in at an angle. One little piece, one little eyelash, two little eyelash, and the little nick out of the center. Round that one off with the knife, or with your finger is fine. And you should have two little square eye shapes. We also want to cut out just a very small triangle for the nose. So anywhere you like, you can cut that from. Don't make it too much of a pointed triangle. It's got slightly a bit of a rounded tip on top. So nice and small. And once again, we're just gonna round off those edges with the fingers. And that's going to give us a nice little rounded monster high nose. All right, now our other detail is going to be this bow. So as I mentioned, I've just got a little bit of pink 
modeling chocolate, you can use fondant, you can even use pink taffy. Just soften it up in the microwave. I'm going to take a little ball of it, about the size of a Malteser, and I'm just going to, with my little finger, just like that. So we're really making it into a bit of a, a peanut type shape. Then with that lollipop stick, I'm just going to indent that peanut shape. Make it look a little bit bowy. You can make a full on proper little fondant bow if you like, but I think for these they don't really need it. Roll out just a little sausage, pop it over the top, and pinch it at the back. I also like to just flatten that one down at the front and there you've got your little bow. So what I've pinched there at the back, I'm actually just going to pinch it off and flatten it down so that the back's quite neat. Make sure that I'm happy that my little bow detail all looks nice. And sit that one off to the side. Now it's time to get our cake pops out of the fridge. Alright, so our little monster high heads come out of the fridge and it's time to pop in our lollipop stick. So I'm just going to give that chocolate a nice stir to get it moving. And I'm dipping into the white chocolate and then insert into the center of that chin. Now you want to, from here, just wipe the chocolate up. Normally I tell you to leave a nice little chocolate seal, but here we really want to blend it into the face shape. And then just using your finger, just go around the top of that stick because we don't want to distort the shape of her chin at all. So something that looks like that. Now that's got to go back into the fridge for another five minutes to set. I've got one here that I prepared a little bit earlier just so that we can speed things up a little bit so she's ready for dipping. So I'm going to take our lovely cake pop and just dip it into that white chocolate. I like to just spin mine around. Make sure that your white chocolate that you're dipping into meets all the way up with that lovely chocolate seal that's just been setting. And when I tap, I like to tap it either side. So rather than going, you know, these sort of angles, we really want it to tap into that face shape that we've created. All right, so once you're happy that you've got all the excess off, you just want to tidy up underneath that chin again. And it's time to start adding our lovely details. So our little monster high girl has the fatter parts of the eyes facing inwards and the eyes are really right down at the cheeks so they're more than halfway down the head facing downwards. So one and two, looking kind of a bit sad. And then our little triangle nose. Poke that one on. And then our little eyelashes. One and two. And one. And two. Now for the little bow, I like to give that just a little bit more white chocolate just to make sure it's really going to stick. So I'm just going to dip the back of the bow into some of that white chocolate and I'm going to sit it on top. Give it a nice little push down. And there you have your gorgeous Monster High cake pop ready to go for even the fussiest Monster High fan. Thanks very much for watching.